have you ever been told that 0.99 dot dot up to infinity is equal to one? That these two numbers are exactly the same? Well, what if I told you that this proof isn't as solid as it seems? Today, we're going to challenge this idea and uncover why 0.99 dot dot up to infinity might not actually equal one. First, let's go over the standard proof often used to show that 0.99 dot dot up to infinity equals one. It's based on an infinite geometric series. We express 0.99 dot dot up to infinity, 0 0.9 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.009 plus 0 0.0009, and so on. This forms an infinite geometric series where the first term, which we call A, is 0 0.9, and the common ratio, or R, is 0 0.1. Using the formula for the sum of an infinite geometric series, which is s equals a divided by 1 minus r. Substituting the values, we get s equals 0 0.9 divided by 1 minus 0 0.1, which simplifies to 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.9, and that equals 1. Thus, this method concludes that 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity equals 1. But what if this reasoning isn't telling the full story? Let's look at an alternative approach that suggests otherwise. Let's assume the sum of the series truly equals 1. We write it in fractional form, 9 over 10 plus 9 over 100 plus 9 over 1,000, and so on, equals 1. Now observe a pattern in fractions, 9 over 10 equals 0 0.9, 99 over 100 equals 0 0.99, 999 over 1,000 equals 0 0.999. This generalizes to 999 to infinity over 1000 to infinity equals 0 0.99 dot up to infinity. Now, if we assume that 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity equals 1, then we must have 999 to infinity over 1000 to infinity equals 1. Multiplying both sides by the denominator, we get 999 to infinity equals 1000 to infinity, which implies that 999 to infinity is exactly 1000 to infinity, a contradiction. Since these two numbers are clearly not the same, our assumption that 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity equals 1 must be false. Let's now redefine the equation with a more precise expression. From our earlier fraction form, 9999 999 to infinity over 100 to infinity equals 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity. Multiplying both sides by the denominator, we get 999 to infinity equals 1000 to infinity times times 0 0.99 dot dot to infinity, which results in 999 to infinity. Once again, this contradicts the assumption that 999 to infinity equals 1000 to infinity, reinforcing that 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity is not actually equal to 1. So while the traditional proof using geometric series claims that 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity equals 1, our alternative approach exposes contradictions in this logic. By carefully analyzing the fraction structure and infinite representation, we reveal that 0 0.99 dot dot up to infinity is not truly equal to 1. Instead, it's an approximation that never actually reaches 1. This challenges a widely accepted mathematical belief. What do you think? Let us know in the comments if you agree or if you have another perspective.